Welcome to Silver Screen Test. I'm your host, Brick Barrientos. How much do you know about the movies? We're about to find out how much our contestants know. They're playing for some wonderful prizes, including these DVDs for Lost in Translation, 8 Mile, and Nurse Betty. But first, let's meet our players. We have Peter Grossman, an engineer from Columbia, Maryland, and you've actually held an Oscar. Yep, that's right. Uh, in high school, I worked at a movie theater, and there was a local production company that won a Best Documentary Oscar, and they held a party every year to benefit the the uh, the uh, benefit the group that the documentary was about, and they advertised it with their Oscar. So it's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's it's heavier than you'd expect. Okay, welcome, Peter. Mm -hmm. And next is uh, David Cam, a student from Washington D.C. And uh, you saw um, a bit of a movie being filmed when you were younger. Yeah, it was uh, the adaptation of Madeline, the children's book, and. Um, so I saw Francis McDormand from the back. Okay. That's the closest I've been to in that act actor. Yeah, I suppose. I, you know, I was traveling through uh, Britain, and they were shooting, uh, I guess it was a television or BBC version of, uh, of um, A Prime of Miss Jean Brodie at Edinburgh Castle, and then they were shooting something there. And then finally, I have Craig Mackey, who's a computer scientist from Columbia, Maryland, and you do uh, weekly trivia. Yes, every Thursday at uh, Sonoma's in Columbia. Just uh, get together with friends. It's a good reason to get out of the house and have fun for a few hours. All right, get you out of trouble. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we'll start playing our game in the first round. We'll use the buzzers on this. Each correct answer is worth one point. Come in early enough, you earn an additional point. And uh, there's no penalty for an incorrect answer, but I'll finish the question for the other players. So here we go. He did a guest spot as a poetry-loving biker named Snake who fell in love with Laurie on the Partridge family. He's had some kind of producer credit on many of the films he has directed, including The Bucket List, Alex and Emma, and The Story of Us. Name this director of The Princess Bride and When Harry and Peter. Um, Rob Reiner. That's correct for one point. Now you're up to one point now. A dentist is in love with a clumsy zookeeper in charge of penguins. When he was a teen, the dentist refused to have sexual contact with a goth chick while in a closet playing Seven Minutes in Heaven, so she cursed him that every woman he slept with would dump him and immediately find and marry her soulmate. Name this romantic comedy starring Dane Cook and Jessica Craig. Good luck, Chuck. That is correct, and you have one point, Craig. In a 1962 film, he is a sexual voyeur imprisoning the beautiful Jane, played by Glynis Johns, the, the mother from Mary Poppins. In a 1989 movie, his granddaughter operates a bizarre psychosexual asylum where everyone wears either pink or yellow. Name this character, originally played by Werner Krauss in 1920 and had a title cabinet. Craig? Dr. Caligari? That's correct. Four, one, and that puts you up to two points. He was general manager of the Lyceum Players in Rochester, New York before going to Broadway and Hollywood. He focused the camera on the middle of the pr his protagonist's bedroom while much of the action took place just off screen when he directed Adam's Rib. Who is this man who directed more Best Actor winning performances than anyone else? Three, even though he's best known as a woman's director. No? No guesses there? That's George Cukor in those uh, performances where Jimmy Stewart in Philadelphia Story, Ronald Coleman in A Double Life, and Rex Harrison in My Fair Lady. Alice awakens with amnesia in an empty mansion, apparently married to a man named Spence. The rest of the film involves defeating zombies created by the secret hive, David. Resident Evil. That's correct, for one. And that'll end the first round. I've got a question for you at home, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs>